How long have you been lying there for? Well, I'm finally out in the great outdoors. Nowhere near where I intended. I'm, uh, it would have actually been easier for me today to have left my car at home and walked. Um, we're going, I don't know if you can see it, there's like a, a trail of people walking and a, a car park at the top there, just below the ridge where that car park is. So that's our intended uh, destination. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll recognize it from some of my previous. Well, my friends, we are in one of my favorite little woods again. I say this as one of my favorites, basically. It's a dead end wood that runs nowhere. There's a path at one end, runs uh, perpendicular to it. And if you walk into the woods, you don't get anywhere. You just have to about face and walk back the other way. So no one really ever comes in here, aside from uh, intrepid outdoors people like myself. <laughs> As I said, plenty of deadfall here. I haven't bought a saw. If I do need to uh, take anything to length, I'll just use the old uh, Corporal's Corner, Sean Kelly branch between two trees technique. There you go, a tree like that. Well, maybe not quite like that, maybe a little closer, but you just stick your length in and snap it off, which uh, sounds painful, doesn't it? Regular viewers will, uh, the uh, two or three of you, <laughs> will recognise this spot. I used to have a tarp here, and there's me little sitting down log on the floor there. But, um, I think before we do anything, I'm going to have a cup of coffee, because my head's really cold for some reason, and uh, I need warming up. So yeah, I'm going to get brew on the go, and then do some serious uh, engineering. I reckon we're going to be alright. Hopefully. Um, yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Has plummeted. Very cold wind is coming. You could probably see on that gas burner the flame was all over the place. Should have put the little ring round it. So, yeah, perfect day for setting up a hammock. Perfect. Oh, that's lovely. A couple of flakes of snow just start to fall again. I'm going to get on it as soon as I finish this, just need to, uh, in theory, collect two lengths of wood, and no, uh, five foot, six foot, something like that, and uh, get on it. I have got a tarp today, I was sitting on it because I forgot my sit mat. I've also got a puffy jacket, and uh, have a hammock, so let's see what we can do. Hello. 
honestly, next time you watch your favourite uh, outdoor YouTube channel, watch how many times they use a saw when, one, you could just break that with your foot, two, you could just break it the way I just used it, and my absolute classic, when people take out a, a silky or a barco or something to cut something the size of your thumb, you could break that with your hands if you wanted, you know, unless you need a, a really clean cut, but uh, nine times out of ten they don't. They just like using saws. Um, you don't always need a saw. I've got these two lengths of wood. They're not huge. I didn't want to do huge wood. I want this to be something where you can just uh, pick up some branches and do it. So what they're like broomstick handle at that size and small dainty uh, wrist size or ladies forearm size at that end so I'm just going to take some paracord lash the two together okay so what I've done here I've just sort of I think they call them fraps and wraps about three meter of paracord I usually use for tying my tarp out I've just wrapped it around those two and I've now got that sort of structure going on so just for uh, reference, I'm, at, I'm about five foot eight, so what's that? That's probably about six foot four. Uh, not quite Andre the Giant size, but sort of Hulk Hogan size. Um, so yeah, next thing I'm going to do is get another length of paracord and tie it off to this tree. Right, I'm sort of in uncharted territory now. I think I'm going to take off about four or five meters, because this is going to be the sort of length of the hammock tie around the tree and a good strong tie around this to uh, help support the weight so four five meters um, probably better to uh, overestimate rather than underestimate I would oh I will add I will add as a side note at the minute if you don't want to use paracord because uh, I doubt this is real paracord I mean it's from combat UK or whatever so I doubt it's got 550 pounds of breaking strength but it should have enough to hold my lardy ass up. Um, you can use something heavier, or you could use real paracord, but um, this was 100 meters for like 10 pounds, so this definitely isn't real paracord. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I have never tried this, I am doing this live. I've not even done this in the garden, so um, this is a kind of uh, all or nothing. Okay, this is where it all gets a bit scary, so. I did five meters, that might not be long enough. So I've paced out from the bottom of the tree to the base of where, that's the th about three meter pace out there. And then I've uh, tied that paracord to the top. And I have, uh, I don't know, what, what's that, like a 10, 15 degree lean back on that, um, those two, uh, branches there lashed together. Uh, this is where it all gets awfully experimental. I think it needs to be leaning back but we'll find out in a minute. This does require a couple of other components. First component is this pulley. This is going to help me transfer the horizontal lateral forces into a more controllable vertical force. Um, it is on a piece of paracord, simply looped over the top of that. Um, if you want to try this, this is a rotating one and uh, spins quite freely. Um, you can buy these really cheap. This was not the cheapest one. The reviews for the cheapest one said they all fell apart. Uh, I think, I can't remember, I'll put the numbers on the screen. I think this has got a brake strength of like 150 kilograms or thereabouts. So should be fine Let's see how we go second mysterious uh, piece of the puzzle is another pulley um just just you wear these cost me about 7.99 for both on amazon so not a lot maybe i'll stick a link up i think it was 7.99 um again we're using a lot of physics here to overcome gravity I actually just had a terrible heart in my mouth moment where I thought I had forgotten to bring the hammock. The hammock was on the floor next to the rucksack, but because it's camo, I couldn't see it. 
Okay, so I've stuck one of my uh, hammock straps around this tree and it's about to get very complicated at this end. I'm either going to succeed or fail miserably. Well, it's sort of hanging. I'm not brave enough to put it in yet. It's not tied down. Um, I'm not sure what to do from this point because I had two ideas. So it's going to be a case of trying one, see if it works. If not, try the other or uh, just, just see how we go. Oh, that went through that like a knife through butter. Didn't mean for that to go through like that. I'll be honest, this is the first time I've used this uh, this knife in anger. Not bad for a folder. I should have cut some notches in. Let's cut some notches in. I'll tell you what. This is the first time I've I've batoned with this uh, with this knife before, but never done any sort of stuff like this. That's not bad. Perfect, but it works. Okay, my idea for this was to come up with something that you could just make. Oh, my battery's going flat. Fortunately, I've got another. So, as you see, it sort of works. So, I've got these two lashed together. I have a simple pulley here on a length of paracord just hanging over the top. What this pulley does is it stops this horizontal lateral force, transfers it downwards, which stops the stand going that way. This angle as well, coupled with this length of paracord, and there is load on that, pulls it down because we've transferred that load downwards. So the paracord takes the brace. Now, I've cheated here slightly. I did say this was a work in progress. So I've got the second pulley on there. So the second pulley does the job of then distributing, splitting the load. So if I weigh, in theory, and again, I'm not a mathematician, if I weigh 200 pounds, which I do, and this was a normal hammock lay, there's 100 pounds there and a hundred pounds of stress there so a hundred so a hundred a hundred i've then split it with this further so it's then 150 50 so 
And this is where I've cheated slightly. If you look at the ground, this ground was completely inappropriate for putting stakes into. I tried and tried and tried, and I'm either coming up against flint rock or it's just far too far too loose. What I was going to do was double stake, so round one stake, tie off to a second stake. So what I've actually done, this one is actually tied off to that broken tree limb there, which probably only weighs about 30, 40 kilograms. It doesn't weigh a lot, it actually moves a little, but you can see how like, the weight has been distributed and, and lessened, and this one, I couldn't find anything appropriate here, so it's tied to that small tree in the distance. Um, I'd love to go try this somewhere else where um, I can actually get some stakes into the ground. Um, but yeah, that's it, it sort of works. And all you really need to do is add two pulleys to your kit. Um, now I did think this might work with very smooth steel rings or carabiners or something like that. I thought I would try it with pulleys first time out because these are really doing a good job of minimising the friction and um, distributing the loads where I want them. So, and my paracord, of course it's not real paracord, it's not 220 pounds of brake strength, but the way I have this set, the load is, is distributed evenly, so it's not taking uh, sorry, 500 pounds of brake strength. It's not taking my 200 pounds in one piece of paracord, it's it's split and so there we go. Um, my other crazy idea, and I don't know if it's feasible, I did wonder what happens if I take these lines and tie them to the bottom of the stand? I don't think I'm going to push my luck today. Might try that another time. Maybe I'll try that in the safety of my garden. Um, but yeah, I'm going to call that success. Not bad at all. I'm happy with that. So it really is just two lengths of wood, some power cord and two pulleys. Like I said, you, you might, you might get away with carabiners or, you know, if you had an S-ring there, something smooth, but even then, that might stress the paracord a bit. This is, it's running freely, so. I can't believe that actually worked. Just a, a little background on the idea of this. I initially, I was thinking about how snatch blocks work with 4x4s. And if you were to add another pulley into the line, or another two pulleys, you would further reduce the pull strength on those two supporting lines even further. You could probably get away with little diddy cheap tent pegs. Um, and then when I got thinking of snatch blocks, as I mentioned in another video, I had this image of something I'm sure I'd seen in a, a history textbooks, a history textbook with the way Egyptians would move blocks. And I thought, I'm sure they could just transfer the horizontal load to a vertical load just using a combination of pulleys at the right angle. And, there you go. Seems alright. Not going anywhere. Um, I'd probably recommend doing it with proper paracord. Um, you know, proper 550 and I'm sure you'll be fine. I don't know what the breaking strength of this cheap stuff is, but... Uh, pretty happy with this. Pretty content. Mmm. My content face. I'm gonna make some lunch now. Let me show you the view over there from my hammer. Mm. 
Not bad, eh? It has stopped snowing, as you can probably tell. Being this much of an engineering genius is um, hungry work. So I'm going to make some lunch. I have noodles and I have cream of chicken soup together. They will make cream of chicken noodle soup. So I'm uh, going to get that on the go now. I don't want to move that, it's quite relaxing in a hammock. So we just take the noodles, take the soup, pour it in the pot, put it on the heat. And turn it right down. Bit of a simmer. Lunch is simmering away. Let's give you all another quick look at this if you want to try it yourself. So that hammock hang is just normal, just strap as per normal. Now obviously I've not used the strap at this end. I've just these are just the loops and the, the steel rings that my hammock came with. Um, as I said, it was ten pounds. There's a review of that if you want to watch. Then I've got a short piece of paracord there, what's that, 50, 70 centimetres, running through this pulley. This pulley is a rotating kind, which again, it's just on a short piece of paracord, just hanging over this. These two sticks are just lashed together, just, they're not even, not even driven them into the ground. Well, I've given them a little push, but they're not not spike them off or anything you could do and this is lent backwards uh, I don't know I don't know how many degrees that is 5 10 15 take your best guess and then this is then tied on to another pulley and then as I said earlier my initial idea was to double stake these into the ground but I was having issues with this ground so this one's tied to that little tree over there and just tied onto that dead log there which and that works bloody works anyway I need to go stir my soup oh worked up a hell of an appetite doing all that glad it worked. There was one point where I thought, this isn't going to work. I thought, my imagination and physics-based reality, never the twain shall meet, but it actually worked. Um, one of the key points if you try doing this is adjusting the angle of the stand. Because what you want, what you're aiming for with that angle in that stand is if you had the stand just upright and you got in the hammock, it would just go blop. But that pulley enables that force to be transferred downwards and you're helping it along with the angle of the stand. Um, so yeah. I'm not sure my first go, and that worked. Happy with that. I said you can uh, you can fettle it. Easy enough, isn't it? It's just it's just lumps of paracord, so cut too long instead of too short, and can't go wrong. Oh, I'm gonna finish this now, I think, and then have another. I'm gonna have a coffee. Yeah, I'll have a coffee.
Okay, so I'm just gonna go through everything I used outside of what comes with the hammock to achieve that. So, obviously, two stout sticks. They're about six foot in length. I don't know, maybe, maybe a bit taller, but, you know, that sort of size. Um, so this is the really long bit of uh, paracord. This was about eight meters. This is the tie off paracord. Obviously, uh, the shallower angle, the better it is. If you, if the cord is too short and you come down too steep, it's not as strong. So one piece of paracord there. Again, watch Dave Canterbury's videos if you want to learn how to uh, tie paracord up into hanks properly. Um, this was a three meter piece that I just used for lashing the two poles together. Probably overkill. Probably only needed about two meters. This pulley, which pulley is this pulley? I'm trying to tell people how to do this, I can't even remember myself. Ah, oh, this is, so, this is, this is an extension of your hammock line, so instead of using your hammock strap, think of this as your hammock strap. And then the two guy lines that hold the whole structure out go around that pulley. So what's that? That's nothing. I don't know, 70 centimetres? This is the first pulley, just with a small loop in it, and that was just quite literally hung over the top of one of those sticks, which was easy. And this piece of paracord was the one that I measured out at five meters to hold the structure in line with the tree. So that is everything that you would need uh, and I dare say you can, you can modify that as, as as suits anyway it fits in an oversized pocket Well, I'm just going to finish this coffee and then I'm going to nosy on back home. Um, although the sun is out in parts, it is absolutely freezing. Uh, it's meant to drop to minus three in the next couple of nights, which I'd like to say is unusual for April, but not really. My birthday's at the end of April and I've had snow three or four times in my life on my birthday, so... Uh, truly, the, the the weather doesn't really find spring until May. So, anyway, I hope you all got something out of that. It gives you an idea of what you can do. Uh, nothing set in stone. You can fettle and fiddle with that setup till your heart's content. But the main point is, it requires very little. Um, the two pulleys are really the only things I bought. And as I said, it might work with. It might work with very smooth carabiners or S-rings, something like that. Um, I think the less friction the better. Like I said, the pulleys weren't expensive. Paracord, everyone should be carrying paracord, so... Um, but yeah, and two sticks and a hammock. Job done. Anyway. I will uh, see you all on the next one. This time next week I will be camping, which I'm very excited about. I'll see you all then if I don't see you before.